What's going on, guys? This is Jace Machine, and today we're playing Star Maid. This is one of my favorite games out there, besides Minecraft. Trust me, I love Minecraft, but if I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm kind of screwing around with, uh, with Star Maid. So, let's just jump right into it. Alright, we are starting a brand new game. So let's just take a look around the spawn point and see what we have. We have a few planets that are in a, some neighboring sectors, it looks like. Um, yeah, a few floating rocks and some asteroids. But that looks like that. This is the spawn... Uh, the spawn shop, basically. You start here when you start a new game of Star Maid. And let's go back into my character's head for a second here. That's not the right button. There we go. Very good. The green blue block that's in front of us here, that's called a Plex Underneathinator. And the Plex Underneathinator is a active spawn point. So, if you die, you will, of course, wake up right here. So, we're just going to activate that. It actually is a default setting, but I'm showing you how to play the game. So, just use the R, and you can activate the Plex Underneathinator. Now, you can buy these as blocks, and you can place them on your base. Uh, they don't recommend placing them in spaceships because your ship moves, and that block locks you into a specific spot in outer space. Supposedly, we have traders. This guy's name is A Trader. It's probably like Albert Trader or something like that. You can talk to him uh, with the R, and he gives you some conversation here. He tells you that he's a member of the Galactic Trading Guild, and you can get information from him. So we can learn about the Trading Guild, and basically the deal with the Trading Guild is that these are the giant neutral business entity in the universe. They are the ones who stock up their shops, and they have caravans of spaceships that travel from one ship, uh, one shop to the next, and they uh, restock the shops. They also go to war with pirates because pirates will attack them. Uh, shops you can buy and sell items here you can buy and sell recipes uh, I believe and recipes are used when you're crafting things later in the game uh, hopefully we'll get to that later it's something that I don't know anything about right now but I'm willing to learn for you <laughs> uh, pirates these are the big bad of the universe um, try to run from them at the beginning because they show up in groups of like six to eight and then they call reinforcements so if you want something else this is what else you can do you can hire a crew for the inexpensive price of 50,000 credits <laughs> and then they have the opportunity to do quests for the trading guild but right now there is or I should say there are no quests so this is what we are going to do for our first episode in Star Maid. This is the first thing you're going to want to do. This is the equivalent of making yourself a dirt house for the first night. In Star Maid, you need to make money. And the best way to do that is with a salvager. So if you take a look down in our bar at the bottom, you can see that we have a weapons computer and we have an antimatter cannon set. It's 15 blocks of that. I don't want them. Nope. Toss them. Get rid of them. Sell those guys. I don't need them. Because I'd rather have money for other things. We're going to need to salvage computer down here. We're going to need to salvage cannons down here. And when you start off your world, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your shop... You, know, you want to check to make sure your stock has these bad boys right here, the salvage cannons. The salvage cannons, super, super, super important. We're going to buy a quantity of these guys. I want 30. 30 of those. Ah, but now I am tapped out. Well, that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a lot more money just from those bits of salvage array. So what we need to do to build a ship is we hit the X button 
and it pulls up the new ship uh, naming menu and we are going to make a salvaging ship today so we can collect ore and take apart spaceships and sell the scrap metal for credits and so we're going to name this guy salvager dolly all right the ship core will appear in front of you like thusly and as you can see uh, this ship core is just a single block so we're gonna enter it with the R button you gotta be right up on top of it though and then you get into build mode it tells you you're in build mode it also gives you stats about your ship on the side uh, directly to the left of the screen where it says mass length height width power thrust turning speed shields so all those are very important stats that quantifies what your spaceship is uh, you know what makes it and its stats uh, you can hit the space button to go into flight mode and when you just have a little cube like this you may not have power or thrusters but it gets you around quicker than just an astronaut in space does so pretty awesome all right so we're gonna go into build mode and I want to get a good angle on this guy now we're gonna build this thing uh, I want to build both sides at the same time so instead of having to build the one side and then going and building the other side what we are going to do is we're going to hit control we're going to make sure that odd sim mode here is clicked on and then we want to turn our YZ plane on as well um, we have to have something in our block or in our inventory to make it work I thought maybe I did it maybe I had something else in here as you can see though it's centered right in the middle of the block all right so we want to place a salvage computer and then we need to before we place the salvage guns themselves we have to select the salvaging computer with C so it glows orange it's highlighted orange and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start attaching these these are the salvaging guns and as you can see they are outlined in purple and each one wants me to make it the output for some reason which is not at all what I'm interested in going to keep putting these guys on right here and actually we're gonna stop I want I want this area here free we need to add some power now the weird thing about star made is you you can't just you can't just build something based on aesthetics alone the way that you configure your different mechanical blocks where they are in relation to each other means a lot like for example the fact that there are side-by-side -side weapon blocks or salvager beam blocks that uh, that affects I believe the overall power possibly uh, the, the ones that are stacked behind each other that uh, affects the distance and or speed of the recharge it's crazy you have to play around with it a little bit and you have to watch a lot of tutorials if you really really want to know what the hell is going on but what we're doing here is we're adding power and I am doing it in a sort of a simple T because I pity the fool don't like Mr. T. Uh, yeah, so we're, that's what we're going for right there. And as you can see on the side of the screen, the power number is, is rising. And it's sitting at 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, right now it's we're generating a lot of power. So the next thing we want to do is we need to be able to fly this bad boy out in space. So we're going to at attach thrusters to it. And you can attach thrusters pretty much anywhere. So I'm just going to stick these guys here. And we still have a lot of, of salvage cannons, don't we? Well, in that case, we are going to pull this back like this and 
get rid of them that way. Now your ship doesn't have to look pretty to start out with. Uh, in fact, your first ships probably will not have a place for your character to get in and sit. Uh, most of your initial ships are going to be just ugly sort of little shapes that are very functional where you can get in and out of the ship easily enough. Um, you get hulls that you can then, you know, make your ships look a little bit prettier. And so that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm just going to add some hull. Just haul in some add. All right. That is, it looks like a horseshoe crab. Let me remove those and put them right here. There, that looks a little bit more like a manta, a manta ray. Let me tweak with it there, all right, a little bit better. We don't need to have the, uh, the odd symmetry mode in place anymore, so we can unset that. And let's remove the GUI for a moment here and take a look at what we got. That is a very simple machine. This machine will fly through space and make us money. So bless this little machine. Okay, we want the output to be right here. So we're going to hit R. What's the output, you say? Well, look at all these blocks, all these purple blocks. These are all salvage blocks. Um, but the lasers are only going to come out of one place. Yes. So we want it to come out where you tell it to. And that is right below us. Now the second thing we have to do before we go out and test it is we have to set it up. Select it in your weapons system. You hit T to bring up your weapons uh, menu. And then you just tell it what key, what hotkey you're going to attach it to. So that is that. Now that we got this thing moving, I want to save it to the catalog real quick. This is a huge important step because what happens, guys, is you build a ship and then you take it out and you forget to save it. And what happens? What happens is the space pirates come and they destroy it. And then you have to build the ship again from scratch. That's no good. Okay. So we're going to put this in as uh, Salvager Dolly. Salvager Dolly. Um, yeah. Sounds good to me. Do we got L and I in place there? Oh, look at that. I can't freaking... Okay. L-I. Okay. So this price, you can you can buy this ship for uh, 25,150 credits. And I can give... As an admin, I can go into admin mode here. And here's all sorts of different ships. All sorts of different ships here. Um... And you can set them to whether or not space pirates can use them or not, or whether or not um, whether or not other players can use them, or even the the the, um, the trade guild. All right, so we got this going here. I want to head over to this rock, and we're going to examine it and see if there happens to be any ores that we want to take a look at. Oh, momentum crashed me right into it. Uh, let's use our beam. The beam is pretty quick, as you can see. There's a little bit of lag, because my computer has a little bit of lag. But as you can see, it's just tearing up through it. You see this weird-looking texture right there? That is ore. So we're going to pull this ore out of here Let's see what we can find. You pretty much, you take your ores, and then throughout the game, you can build things called factories. And factories will allow you to refine your ore into 
um, higher concentrations that you can then sell for significantly more credits. It's not a bad little setup. So we're going to look into doing that into the future of this game as well uh, through this Let's Play series. I want to kind of just go over all the standard, like, how, how do you play this game? Because right now, if you go on YouTube, you see a lot of people making spaceships. And that is a major portion of the game. But what I'm looking forward to is being able to, to live on a planet and to survive. Uh, that's really kind of what I want to do. I want to play a survival mode. So we're going to explore the different elements that are in the game that lend itself uh, towards survival mode. And as we play this, uh, this let's play, we are going to, um, we are going to uh, sort of just check those out. If, if updates come out while we're playing, that'll be awesome. We'll check those out as, uh, as they come to us. Look at that. That looks like it's probably really rich right there. There was a lot, a lot of ore in that one. There's a lot of ore in this here asteroid, you see? Right. Right, right. All right. Now, there's a really good way to make money. And that I'm going to hold off until next episode to show you. Because I've had really bad luck trying to record this first episode of Star Maid. Um, you know, when you watch YouTube videos, I said, you know, I've been watching YouTube videos for like three years for some of these Let's Players, and it seems pretty seamless when they put out a video, because they're showing you the video that worked out. But what you may not realize are all the failed videos. Now, I'm I'm still new at this, you know, I'm learning a lot about YouTube as far as like how the, the uploads and the editing and all of that stuff works. So I'm having a lot of fun, I'm learning a lot, but um, I screw up a lot. I mean, a lot. And this episode right here, uh, cross my fingers, it's nothing happens to it before it's over. <laughs> uh, this I think is legitimately the tenth time I have tried to record an episode for Star Maid. I've had just bad stuff happen. Uh, the, the footage didn't work. I forgot to have the microphone attached. You know, it's all of those little things, pretty much. And as a result, I have been having a heck of a time trying to put out Star Maid episode one for you. So with that being said, uh, enough of this rambling. I think that we have enough ore to take it back to the shop and see what they're going to give for us, uh, give it to us for. I want to check the bottom real quick. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, wow. Look at that. This ore. It's green. It's like lettuce, but hard and rocky. Whoa. This is the world's worst Christopher Walken impression, by the way. But I love it. I, lo I love it. I don't know why. It's stupid. But it makes me laugh. I guess the fact that it's so awkward and weird, um, it's sort of like a parody of an impression. I don't know. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. Dude, there is a lot of ores here. So we're going to be able to show you uh, some of these different ore types uh, today as well. And then we'll... Uh, We'll see about the thing I want to show you next time. The real money maker of Star Maid. And it's been that way since the dawn of the game. But uh, even after they nerfed it. But that's for next episode. This episode, we're heading back to the shop. In our super quick little stingray shaped salvager dolly ship go into the buy mode of the shop itself inventory please we have vapicide we have quantigen we have exogen oh this is amazing look at this extranium uh orangutanium i love that stuff right there it just it, it cracks me up all right so 
let's uh, let's sell 239 rock. We're gonna get. Uh, we're going to get uh, 716 dollars for that rock. That's not bad. The sand, 72 credits. Okay, extranium level one. Quantigen level one. Vapicide level two. Um, orangutanium. We got the exogen level one. Exogen level three. How much is this going to give us? Look at that. That is awesome. We almost doubled what we are worth with that one, one single transaction right there. Exogen level two. Vapicide. Extranium and Vapicide level three. That that was an awesome asteroid. That is fantastic. I that was probably the best asteroid I've actually bumped into yet in this game. Uh, we are playing this in the new version, by the way. You can see that the, the planets in the background are the dodecahedron-shaped planets, the ten siders. Um. So with that being said. Guys, I will see you next time on Star Maid. Uh, we're going to go see if we can find ourselves an abandoned space station. Thanks a lot. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up or a like. And feel free to comment down below. Do you play Star Maid? I'd like to hear your stories. Uh, I'll talk to you later.